control oh, because of you! Oh, oh, I'll make you poop! It was all their fault. The Feltys. Gloria, do you still believe it? Do you still believe this bullshit? You're lying. Bullshit! Tell her, Ash. Tell her. It was you who wanted to burn the place down. Tell her. Tell her why. Because despite the large doses of phenoxyl, she began getting her memories back. Isn't that right? Memories of you harassing her. You were only a little girl at the time. It was Lynn. She's the one who started the fire. She betrayed all of you. She didn't have a choice. You tricked her, drugged her, and forced her to do it. Gloria, you believe me, right?
like them. You're not like them. You used to be my sister. You did it. You... You betrayed us all! Lynn! It doesn't matter how. We have to go! Or when! But I won't be satisfied until you'll all be dead! Lynn! I think I'll we start by killing your parents, Celeste! <sighs> <laughs> promise me that you'll put an end to this. I'm not going to promise anything. That you'll put an end to all of this. I want you to shoot me. Promise me. Promise me. Okay. Okay. I know that shortly after she returned to her parents, the Feltons, but things got out of hand. And you know, Gloria kept her promise. Her thirst for revenge was not quenched. But Jennifer managed to run away. I know that she's somewhere in Sweden now. She writes. She's a writer or something like that. Her publications are signed under a pen name. How many other people? What do you mean? Before you successfully found that Jennifer and brought her to the Ashman Inn. How many before her? How many girls did you suspect to be the mother Acherontia? To then end up living under Porcelain's mercy? How many? They were simple mistakes! How many simple mistakes? Fourteen. Fourteen altogether. You will shoot me! Won't you? Right? You deserve far worse. You deserve to suffer by living in agony. As I did for the past 19 years. Whore! Fucking whore! You promised! Turn to my parents. But what about the contest? I'll be there. I promise. <laughs> promise me. I promise. <laughs> What an 
an odd name for a violin. <laughs> Reed Rosemary. Red Rosemary. Uh, I prefer Reed. <laughs> You'll give it back to me at the theater. Now you have no excuses for missing the performance! I'll see you there! <laughs> Promise me! We'll see each other at the top of the world! I didn't keep that promise. I returned to my parents the following day, the Feltons. Gloria followed me shortly after. She managed to subdue them. She got her revenge. I ran away again, leaving everything behind. I'm sure that if I hadn't, she would have killed me. And when? We just left there waiting for you. Madam, how did you come to know about this whole story? Did Rosemary, Lynn, try to contact you? No. She didn't. I think that as long as she knew that I was safe, and I had forgotten everything, nothing else mattered to her. But this doesn't explain everything else. It happened last year. Yes? Am I speaking with Celeste Felton? Who are you? I'm calling on behalf of Miss Lindsay. She is very weak now and has asked to see you. She left the following day. Ashman was right when he said Lynn was the Wyman's inheritance, and the only thing that he left her was his Alzheimer. This is from her. My older sister, 
my older sister. I was only two years old when... when... by now she would have been... 64. 64 years old. She was one of the other Jennifers. One of the 14 gone missing. Kidnapped. Killed. Before they successfully found the right one. Me. Lynn never managed to come to terms with it. For all these years, she held on to my memories, her own, and those of the other victims. I know she went back to the top of the world many times, hoping that maybe one day my memories might resurface. Thank you.